Hello and welcome to Jesus God News. I'm Xanadu Santorum. The headlines. New religious discovery from an unexpected source. Have a go hero killed in a tragic self-surgery accident. And coming later, all the hottest fashion tips for 2015. A team of so-called psychiatrists were left red-faced yesterday after it was announced that a screening of the 1999 movie The Matrix on a chronic schizophrenia ward had caused a new religion. Within 25 minutes of the blockbuster ending, the new cult, called Quantum Idealism, was trending on YouTube. The 13 patients, who all suffer from a debilitating inability to distinguish fantasy from reality, began burning science books and opening Patreon accounts. Head of clinical care at the Wisconsin Institute, Dr. Milton Mowbray was philosophical in when he spoke to reporters afterwards, saying, to be honest, other than a tendency to inhale each other's farts and spend eight hours a day masturbating on YouTube, it's fairly inconsequential. A woman died horribly during an attempt to perform neck surgery on herself after watching two YouTube videos and reading a Wikipedia page Elaine Gusset, 42, had previously had great success in interpreting quantum theory and solving the hard problem of consciousness through the same method. But her have-a-go attitude and unshakable self-belief proved unequal to the task. Her husband, Bernard, spoke to reporters after the coroner's inquest, saying, She always had such a strong sense of her own rightness. It was her bloody-mindedness and bafflingly misplaced self-confidence that first attracted me to her. I don't know what we'll do. Who will homeschool our children now? The world of fashion was celebrating record sales last night after the 2014 New Year's Eve runway show in Kabul. It was stormed by eager wife owners keen to get their hands on the latest trends. The surprise showstopper in the capital city of the strictly religious Afghanistan nation was the Gimp Suit 3000. Excited wife owner Fox News Benghazi, 63, was one of the lucky few to snatch a bargain. Standing on his wife's head, he explained to the world's fashion press that the Gimp Suit 3000 is a blessing from heaven. It just screams sexual submissiveness and shows she knows who's the boss. It also comes with a dog collar so there'll be no wandering off to go shopping or trick men into sinning. I know my wife will wear it as she's very religious and not oppressed at all, and anyone who suggests otherwise is a racist. It was also an extra special night for the couple, who were celebrating their 10th wedding anniversary, as well as Mrs Benghazi's 17th birthday. Science News Now and a major breakthrough was made at the Jesus Institute of Smart Making in North Carolina when it was announced that a crack team of experts had successfully redefined science to prevent it being misused to criticise religious arguments. Scientism, as it is now known, was generated using newly discovered insisting technology that allowed researchers to assert the definition more effectively than ever and dismiss 100% of all evidence-based arguments used against people who strongly believe they are right. Dr Christian Kiddy Fiddler explained the breakthrough via the Institute's YouTube page, saying that, thanks to our insisting that this definition be used, anyone who disagrees with us can get stuffed and shut up. This is the single best thing that's ever happened to us since the word quantum was invented. I'm Xanadu of House Santorum, and now you're up to date.